Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be stuffing our cash wallet, our sinking funds, um, the saving challenge, as well as doing a brief um, cash exchange at the end of this video. So if you like these kind of videos, go ahead and hit the like button. If you wanna see more of my videos, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for all of your comments. Leave me another one in today's video. I would love to read it and let's get into it. All right, y'all, so for this week, um, I did have several bills that I had to pay. So I had an app um, on my website that I pay for on a monthly basis that came out this week. This month um, was my first month paying for my HP Ink sub subscription. So when you buy an HP Instant Ink printer, you get six months free, um, a six month trial of using the ink for free. So I've been doing that for six months and this month made my first uh, payment. My brother's birthday was this week, um, or was that Wednesday? I did pay my car insurance, my Apple subscription. I did have three no spend days this week. I don't remember the last time that has happened, so I'm super stoked about it. Um, and then my internet bill did come out on today, which is the 20th, but I don't have no space, so we're gonna overlap it to Saturday. And I had a lash appointment this week. So moving into the next week, I have my final bills of the month, Hulu and Canva. Um, no events this coming week i do have a lunch on that sunday but that's a little bit later so um next week won't have too much going on as well so now i'll go ahead and get into the weekly check-in all right so usually y'all know i like to fill these things out with you guys on camera but because we are doing the cash ex exchange at the end of the video i didn't want it to be too long so i went ahead and did it off camera so these are the amounts that we spent this week um in our categories beauty is a little bit like not accurate because um i did go ahead and sign up for the monthly payments for my lashes just because I save money in the long run, like um, I think I was paying like 150 a month for lashes and that's when you're not a member, that's the full price. Um, that did also include my tip, but that's the full price and um, I was only going once a month. Well, with the um, subscription or being a member, now I'm paying I think 120 a month, not including a tip so that's just like what they take out of my account so 120 a month um and i get to go twice a month instead of once so i'm spending less money and i get to go more if that makes sense so i went ahead and signed up for that so i actually did get billed today for 120 um so that would put me in the red for beauty um going into the last week of the month i'm not gonna be spending anything on beauty so i think i'll be over like five dollars i don't know it's a little bit off but that's just what we have for this week i'm gonna go ahead and get my amounts for next week so spending is going to get ten dollars i don't plan on spending money <laughs> on anything um gas is going to get 45 and i'm sorry if you guys I say it every video, but I live next to a main street. So if you hear cars, that's why. Um, groceries, I only have $55 left for this last week because I decided to go up on my groceries mid month. So I don't think 55 is going to cut it, but I'm just gonna put it there and we'll see what we have. So it's looking like I'm gonna be over this month in beauty and in groceries. Um, home is getting 20, eating uh i did that wrong eating out is getting 30. medicine is getting 10. i am low on um advil so i'm just gonna go get a small little um bottle of that and then nothing for beauty all right y'all so let's see what we are working with here so in spending i have five dollars left it's a very flimsy five For gas, I have a dollar left. I literally spent, I had $10 left and then my car wash with the um, tires, to get the tire shine was $9. So home, I 
have the two dollars left nothing in eating out nothing in medicine and then this beauty money it's like i don't know it's weird because i ended up giving her a tip out of this money but then the 120 that they um took out was from my card or my bank account so i'm just gonna put that in with the cash these are my coins i'm gonna put them in my coin box and i'm gonna add this money to the bank and then scan my receipts my receipts for fetch rewards all right y'all so let's go ahead and get into the saving challenge for january and i think that i'm stuffing six dollars today we will see i think that's what i said i'm doing because i'm gonna do the five yeah and six yeah so let me get my sticker here i also have an update for you guys i over this past week started looking into opening a roth ira um because i need to make sure i'm putting money aside for retirement and um i do save a lot of money but I just need to make sure that I'm doing that as well. So I've decided that my saving challenge money is going to go toward my Roth um, once I finish my saving challenge at the end of the year. And then every week I'm also gonna stuff money into my Roth. So y'all gonna see that today. So um, I have two amounts left, which is $3 and $4. And I'm going to hope to stuff those next week with my rollover money, which is what I like to stuff my challenges with. But if I don't have it next week, then I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it out of, out of, out of the bank. But so far, I've been able to stuff all of these amounts into this envelope here, um, just with rollover money, I believe. So these are my saving challenges for the year for this year they're available in my shop and anything that you see in the video that you like there is going to be a link down below for it so next i'm going to go ahead and put this money back into my bank envelope in my wallet and so for today i'm gonna put that i saved two dollars in cash and that would put the balance at 37. again i do have um I did put my beauty money in this envelope, but that's not leftover money because I'm over budget for beauty. So that money typically, or that money really won't count. So as far as like money I've saved, it's in my saving challenge binder. And then outside of the saving challenge binder, $37. And then at the top of my planner, you guys see the transaction log up there. That's where I've been keeping track of my unbudgeted expenses. So last week I did not have any unbudgeted expenses, but this week I did, at least I think this was part of this week. I don't know. Um, I did spend a little over $200 at Walmart because y'all know I just moved. So I'm still like getting the place together. So I bought some things. And so I was, that was not a, a an expense that was budgeted. So so far your girl is just i mean these unbudgeted expenses let's just hope that we don't have any more for the rest of this month so um i'm gonna go ahead and grab my cash for this week all right and today we're gonna stuff 373 dollars so a little under what is that 380 a little under 380 and this is going into my wallet as well as the sinking funds so I am doing much better with being able to put the money back into my sinking funds that I um, took out over the last several weeks. So I'm excited about that. So spending is gonna get 10. And these were my old envelopes from my Rose Gold Lux wallet. I just decided to like pull them out and use them. I haven't used them in so long gas is going to get 45. 
groceries is going to get 55. Home is getting 20. Eating out is going to get 30. So I, I'm going to, oh, I forgot to put that in my calendar, y'all. I'm going to an event on Monday from 8.30 to 11.30. So the church that I'm visiting, um, it's a, I don't know, I wouldn't say a new church, but I guess a, a different church, a, a church that's different from <laughs> the one that I told y'all about. I'm visiting another church and um, it is pretty big. I think I had mentioned that before that it's like out of my comfort zone because it's so big. However, they just started a new ministry for um, small business owners and entrepreneurs. So the first event is this coming Monday. I forgot to put that in my planner, but it is a free event. They're gonna provide breakfast for us and I'm just super excited to like, you know, be in the midst of other small business owners because that's just, that's my jam right there. So I'm excited about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the um, sinking funds and get started with those. Okay y'all, so starting with the pink binder and um, this binder is chunky, these envelopes are chunky and I just can't do it. Y'all know me. I'm cash exchanging on a monthly basis because I just can't do it. Okay, my birthday envelope is going to get $10. So that puts us at 10, 20, 30, one, two, and three. So $33 um, in birthday and my birthday is in August and again I'm not doing a lot oh I don't know if I told y'all about my, my birthdays the last couple years I'm not doing a lot for my birthday this year last year <laughs> went to Hawaii came back with COVID year before that me my sister and my best friend went out of town for my birthday and let's just say I came back and had to get a lot of back therapy, back physical therapy, because I was just out there acting like I was 18. And it was like, I think that was my 30th birthday. So I cut up, I cut up and came back and had to see my therapist. So this year we're just keeping it low key. So this is my, um, this was my old business envelope and I've decided to repurpose it to be my retirement envelope because um, that's something that I want to actively start putting money aside for. My goal is going to be $100 a week. We will see if that happens, but I did the math. So I'm like, if I can do $100 a week, um, as well as use my saving challenge money at the end of the year and add that to my stack i should be able to have the six somewhere between the six thousand and the sixty five hundred dollars that you can put towards your roth ira if you are less than 59 years old so that's my goal is to try to put anywhere from six thousand to sixty five hundred in my roth next year so in retirement we have 100 5 10 15 16 17 18 19 so 119 and then I'm gonna put retirement and I forgot to um, get the total of what the goal is. Y'all give me one second, I'm gonna get the total. So if I can put 400 in a month, that'll be 4,800 at the end of the year. We will see, we will see. But I decided to repurpose the business envelope because I pay for my business expenses. I actually take a percentage out of my checks to pay for that. And 
I just didn't really need the envelope, um, so I wanted to repurpose it. LASIK is going to get $2. And that is something that I recommend, guys. Um, as you go on your journey with budgeting with cash, working with cash, using envelopes, if you find that some envelopes are just taking up space and you're not really, there's really not a purpose for them or they don't really work for you, go ahead and repurpose them because I guarantee you there's another category that you could in your life that you could be putting money towards. So LASIK has a thousand, eleven, uh, eleven hundred, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Next is going to be outings, which is going to get five dollars. So I have 5, 10, 15, 25, 30. Next up is my car maintenance envelope and it is going to get $25. So this is another envelope that I'm really trying to work on um, getting money back into because I had some tire issues, unfortunately, and I used um, a lot of this money, $200 of it, to pay help pay for my tires. So um, I definitely wanna get money back in this envelope. So in car maintenance, we have 20, 40, 60, 75, 85, 95, 100, 5, 6, 7, 8. So $108. Miscellaneous is going to get $2. So, y'all, it's so loud. <laughs> I feel like I can hear every freaking car. So, miscellaneous has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. My gifts envelope is going to get 10. And I have 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So 30. Six dollars. I think I'm gonna need this envelope. Hmm. I want to say Mother's Day, Father's Day. It's probably the next time I'm gonna need this envelope. I think. I spent quite a bit of money out of here um, in November. So yeah. Okay. So the next envelope that I repurposed was formerly known as Travel, but I have repurposed it to say Goddaughter. Um, so y'all know that I have a guy baby who I just freaking love to pieces. She's absolutely amazing. And, um, the travel envelope just wasn't working out for me because even though I love budgeting with cash, I realized that I don't like to travel with it, which is, you know, I just had to be real with myself. I was like, this is not working. When I go out of town, you know, I just want to use my card. You know, I don't want to be having to keep up with 
the fives, the ones, the, you know, I just, I don't want to do it. And maybe I have to just revisit it and try it in a different way um, to try to see if I could get it to work for me. But using just that one travel envelope and then spending money out of there and putting money in to save up is just, I just don't like it. I would just rather take some money out of my check or out of my account, put it to the side in my um, you know, in Ally, you can have the buckets, put it to the side and that's the money that I'm spending on the trip and that's it and just be done. So with my God baby, I buy her gifts, um, throughout the year. And so I kind of feel like this envelope could be like a long-term envelope. So she's going to be two years old in April. So I think of this as like, you know, when my baby gets to kindergarten and she's in school, you know, I want to go have lunch dates with her and I'll have some money in my envelope or we just have a little girl's day and we go do something. I can pull out the envelope. And so, yeah. So in my goddaughter's envelope, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and twelve. So those are the two envelopes that I repurposed. I changed business to retirement because that was a fun, you know, I was saving money, but a retirement account, a Roth IRA is different because it earns interest that savings accounts do not. So um, I repurposed my business envelope for retirement and then I repurposed my travel envelope for my goddaughter. Church is getting a dollar. Again, not my offering or tithes, just extra money. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And my medical envelope is going to get 15. And this envelope <laughs> mainly gets spent on physical therapy. <laughs> as y'all, as I said earlier, um, my birthday in 2021. <laughs> oh, me and my best friend laugh at that all the time. She's like, I can't believe you threw your back out. You can't believe it, girl. I can't believe it either. <laughs> I'm the one that had to deal with it. I can't believe I messed my back up. We were just doing too much. 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So, yeah. Now I do have birthday plans. We are doing something, but it should be extremely low key. And it's gonna be in the state of Texas. I am not going anywhere. I do not want to catch COVID again <laughs> for my all my birthdays. So yeah this year we're just gonna take it easy okay so these are my envelopes i don't even know if my binder will close with all this in there but i'm gonna attempt to put this back in the binder and then i'm going to grab um the black binder usually when i do the cash exchange i keep keep the envelopes in the binder because it's just easier but when i'm stuffing and i have to like pull the tracker out and write i just prefer to just take it all out so um car tags is getting two dollars my bills are like on the struggle bus today like they're all super flimsy and torn up so in car tax i have 55 6 7 8 9 60 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 71 so we are less than $30 away from my goal of $100. Um, and we still have what, four months, four or five months. So I think it should be like right around the time that it's time for me to get them, get new, a new registration that I'll have the $100. Electronics is going to get five. So 
So I have 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. So yes, y'all, I'm so excited um, about the event on Monday. I'm gonna go to church on Sunday and then they actually have two services Sunday. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to go to the one in the morning or the one in the evening. Nonetheless, I will be there. And then Monday we have um, the meetup. So emergency is getting five. And let me see something. I want to say, no, we're not there yet. So I have 1200 in the bank and then 5, 10, 15, 25, 30. I love that it's a free free event i mean i would have paid if i would have had to like i don't mind but i i love that it's a free event and maybe maybe be, be, because it's the first one that might be why it's a free event but i'm just like super excited to meet new people who are also business owners like that's gonna be so fun so giveaways has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I do get questions about this tray quite often. Um, just decided to mention that real quick while I remember. So this was a wooden tray, just like a regular, and these trays are called like glasses, like eyeglasses or sunglasses trays is what these trays are. So um, I have, I got a plain wo wooden one. I want to say I got it from Etsy. I believe the link down below is to Etsy. And I also have a clear one, but I think the clear one came from Amazon. Um, but I got that from Etsy and then I painted it to look like this. So Christmas has 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. Functions has two or is getting to mm, today is 20th so we should be at 10 for 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 9 and 10 and I just think that I will continue to use this envelope like I said um, what I used to use it for was for contributing to other people's events. Um, and as far as throwing my own events, I will just give myself a budget for that probably. So next month will be my first event. I've already started telling, sorry about that y'all. I've already started telling uh, my friends. So everybody's excited, they can't wait. I gotta like, I'm still getting the apartment together. Like I have some things I need to buy probably tomorrow. Um, yeah so i'm excited and i'm hoping to show y'all like pieces of it in uh the next studio vlog so car tires got 10 so i have 20 30 35 40 45 46 47 48 49 50 1 2 3 and 4 so 54 and i am trying to get this envelope back to matching um the car tags envelope so car tags has 70 so um yeah i kind of wanted those two envelopes to have the same amounts but since i had to use 50 of this for attire it's behind but we're working on it 
So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the cash from my purse and I will come back so that we can exchange this stuff out. Birthday is going to get a 20. So, and I'm gonna take the money out of the envelopes, put it to the side, grab the new money. So just two tens and a 20. My retirement envelope is going to get $10. So one, two, three, four. So I can take two fives and grab a 10. And once retirement gets to, I guess a thousand dollars, maybe 500. I'll take the money out and put it in the bank. LASIK is also going to get a 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I try to grab like the ugly bills and send those back to the bank and keep the more crispy looking ones, the more fresh ones. Um, outings is going to get a 20 and a 10. So we will do 5, 10, 15, 20, and then 10. And these bills are not that great either. Like this was a whole different bank. I don't know what's going on. Car maintenance will be getting $100. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. And miscellaneous is going to get 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And one, two, three, four, five. These bills are horrendous. So let's go one, two, three, four, five. So I have 17. Gifts is gonna get 25. So let's go 20 and one, two, three, four, five. I'm always like, oh, let me double check just to make sure. But it should add up at the end to equal that um my goddaughter is going to get 10 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 for 12 church is getting 15 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wait. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five. Medical is going to get sixty. So 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and then a 10. Oh, y'all, look at that. 
Isn't that amazing? Like from not even being able to close to just no problem, back to normal. Okay, let's grab the black binder. Car tags is going to get 20. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let me, um, so I think I miscounted y'all. Let's see, 20, I have an extra dollar or do I not? 69, I think I was supposed to have 71. So this is 20. This is 50, 70, so I think this is 71 instead of, yes, I added two, 69. Y'all probably caught that earlier too. Okay, 71. So let me go ahead and keep that one and put that one back because that looks terrible and grab a 20. So now we are at um, 71. Electronics is going to get 10. So we'll just take these two fives and grab 10. Emergency is going to get 30. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So and giveaways is also going to get a 10. So I have so many ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Four, twelve. Christmas is getting ten. And we'll do two fives. Functions is getting the last 10. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then car tires will get 50. So 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. Mm, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, three, four, five. And let's see, 10, 15, 20, 30, 50. Okay, so car tire should have 54. Yes, 54. Okay. Not too bad. The last thing I'm going to exchange is um, going to be, again, look at that, y'all. Just beautiful. And one thing about cash exchanges is it preserves your binders. Because when you have cash just busting out the seams, your binder seams are also going to start busting. So it helps to save that. I'm going to grab um, the saving challenge really quickly. I did not um, account for this, but with all this cash over here, I'm sure we can make something happen. Okay, so 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. I don't think I have a 50 over here. I'm quite sure that I don't. So let's do five. Okay, let's do 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 
and then let's take these two fives and grab a 10. So that'll work for the saving challenge. Um, I know I haven't did like a bill swap in a while. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below and um, just let me know how your month is going. I know some of you did last week, um, but if you didn't get a chance to, this is your chance. I'd love to know. And I hope to see you guys back in my next video, which will be next Friday. Bye.